Okay. Uh, I'm Sam from China. The title of my presentation is the Hacking Windows CE. It's about the uh, security problems of the PDAs and the mobiles. Um, my presentation is constructed with eight parts. First of all, I'll make a brief introduction of Windows CE uh, because ARM processors is the most useful uh, uh, processor in PDAs and the mobiles, so I'll uh, introduce the um, ARM, arch ARM processors architecture. You know, uh, understanding memory management is very important for buffer flow. And the second, I'll uh, introduce the um, memory management uh, with graphers. Uh, compared with other uh, Windows system, Windows C treats processes in a different way. And then I'll introduce the uh, features of uh, processes and the threats uh, of Windows C. The Windows C uh, API search, uh, tech, uh, search technology is, uh, is funny. Uh, I'll, introduce, uh, uh, I'll introduce it to uh, how to write shell code um, use this method. And uh, I will also introduce the implementation of a system call and use it to write shell code. After this, uh, I'll demonstrate a simple buffer flow. Well, uh, I think this, uh, this technology will be improved in the future. Then I'll uh, talk something about uh, uh, decoding show code. The decoding show code will make the real show code more universal, uh, but uh, ARM processors cache architecture makes it funny. Uh, at last, I'll conclude my presentation. Okay, let's move on to the next part, uh, the first part. Um, Windows C is a very pop popular embedded operating system uh, for PDAs and the mobiles, as uh, the name is developed by Microsoft. Mm, mm, because uh, of the fami uh, familiar APIs, Windows developers can easily develop applications for uh, Windows CE. Uh, maybe this is a, a very important reason that makes uh, Windows CE popular. Uh, Windows CE 5 is the latest version, but uh, uh, WindowsC.net is the most useful version, and my presentation is based on this version. Uh, maybe for marketing reason, there is there is a Windows mo mobile software for pocket PC and the smartphone in Microsoft's website and the MSDN, but they all based on the core of Windows CE. By default. Windows C is in little indent mode and it supports several processes. Almost all of the uh, embedded devices use, uh, will use ARM as CPU. Mm, ARM processor uh, is a typical RISC processor which uh, implement a load store architecture. Only load and store uh, instructions can access memory. The uh, data operating instructions operate on register contents only. There are uh, six major versions of uh, ARM architecture. Uh, the demonstrator device, uh, the demonstrator device has a Samsung S three C four C two four one O processor, which um, which has a ARM9 core and the uh, architecture version is uh, ARM v4 T. More and more PDAs use, uh, are using Intel X scale processor, uh, which uh, architecture version is uh, v5 TE. Um, ARM processors uh, su support uh, supports seven processor modes depending on the uh, architecture version. Um, these modes are uh, user, FIQ, IRQ, uh, supervisor, undefined, abroad, and uh, system. The system mode uh, requires, requires ARM architecture v4 and above. All modes except the user mode are referred to privileged mode. Um, applications usually running user mode, but on the pocket PC, 
uh, all applications uh, uh, running appear running to running in kernel mode. Uh, well, I'll talk it uh, uh, later. Mm. Windows uh, ARM processor uh, has uh, 30, 39 registers. The, uh, these registers are arranged in partially overlapping banks. Um, there's different register bank for each processor mode. Um, the, uh, the bank the registers give a rapid context switching for dealing with um, processor exception and um, Mm, uh, privileged operations. In ARM architecture V3 and above, there are uh, 30 general purpose registers, um, the program count register, uh, the current saved, uh, the current program status register, and the file saved program status register. Um, 15 general purpose registers are visible at any one time, depending on the uh, processor mode, mode. By convention, R13 is used as a um, as stack point in ARM, Zem ARM assembly language. And the C and the C++ compilers always use R13 as a stack point. Um, in user mode and the system mode, R14 is uh, used as a link register, which, uh, um, which stores the return address while a subroutine call is made. The, um, the program count rest is accessed as R15. Uh, it can access the directory by data, um, data processing instructions. And this feature is uh, different from other uh, processors, and it is useful uh, for code location while writing your code. <coughs> you know, understanding memory management, management is very important for buffer overflow. Uh, but Windows C, uh, but compared with other Windows system, Windows Windows C choose mem memory management. Uh, uh, in different way. Windows C use, uses ROM and RAM. The, the ROM uh, in, a, in the Windows C system is just like a small read on the hard disk. It stores the uh, entire operating system as well as the applications that are bounded in the uh, system. The data um, the data can maintain inside the uh, RAM without power or battery. The RAM in a Windows C system is uh, divided into two areas, the, the program memory and the object store. The object store can be considered something like um, a permanent virtual RAM disk. Um, it's unlike a RAM disk in, in, a, in the PC. Um, it can maintain the uh, files in it uh, uh, even if the system turned off. That, uh, that is the reason that, uh, uh, this is the reason that uh, Windows C devices typically have a main battery and a backup battery. They provide the power uh, to, ma uh, to the um, RAM to maintain the files stored in it. Even when the user uh, hit the reset button, the Windows C kernel starts up looking for previously created object store. Um, uh, the, the system will use that store if it finds one. Uh, the, another area of uh, Windows C uh, RAM is uh, the program memory. Program memory is just like the RAM in the PC. Uh, it stores the heaps and the stacks that uh, the applications for applications that are running. Um, the, the, uh, the dividing of the between the object store and the program memory is adjustable. The user can move the um, dividing line uh, by the system control panel applet. Windows C is a uh, um, 
32-bit operating system, so it supports 4 GB virtual address space. Let's look at this graph. This is the um, 4 GB virtual address space layout. The upper 2 GB is uh, used for uh, used by is a kernel space used by system for its own data, and the lower 2 GB is a user space. From this address uh, to below this address, memories are used to um, um, uh, large me large memory allocation, such as. Uh, it is used by the, uh, such as memory mapped files. Mm, um, object store is loaded here. And from zero to below, this, uh, uh, this memories are divided into 33 slots, each of which is a 32 MB. The slot one is uh, uh, XIP. Uh, execute in place. This is a new feature uh, of the Windows C.net. Uh, it expands uh, the application's virtual uh, address space from 32 MB to 64 MB. Well, this graph is uh, is the slot w slot zero um, virtual address. Uh, Space layout. Slot zero is very important. It's uh, used by the current uh, active process. The first the 64 KB is uh, reserved by the OS, and the the following is the uh, processes code code and data. Um, stacks and heaps are arranged here. Zero files are loaded into the top uh, top address. Well, let's move on to the next part. Um, uh, compared with other uh, system, Windows C treats processes in a different way. Windows C limits uh, 32 processes being run at any one time. Uh, when the system starts, at least the four processes uh, are created. Um, let's look at the previous uh, graph. NKEXE, uh, which provides the kernel service, it's always uh, loaded into the uh, slot 97. Um, FileSys.exe, which provides the uh, files file system service uh, is always in slot 2. Device exe, which, uh, which uh, load and maintains the device drivers for system, it's in slot 3 normally. And uh, GWES exe, which provides GUI support. The other processes are also created, such as Explorer. Um, the uh, the th uh, threads uh, under Windows C is similar to threads under uh, other Windows system. Each process at least has a primary thread uh, associated with the uh, up on start, uh, if it never, never created one. One process uh, can create any number of threads only limited by the available memory. Um, each thread belongs to a particular uh, process and shares the same memory, but the uh, set proc permissions API uh, can give the um, current thread access any any process. Each thread has an ID, a private stack, and a set of registers. When the process is uh, loaded, uh, the system will assign the next uh, available slot to it, 
and their files loaded into the top address of the um, of, uh, uh, address space, and then followed by the stack and default process heap. After this, then executed. Uh, when the uh, when the process is, the thread is scheduled, the system will copy uh, copy from its slot to slot zero. It's not a real copy operation. It's just mapped into the slot zero. Uh, this is mapped back to the original slot allocated to the process if the process becomes inactive. Process uh, allocate stack for each thread. The default size is 64 KB. Uh, depending on the link parameter when the uh, program is compiled, this, uh, this size can, can, can be modified. The top 2 KB is used to guard against the stack overflow. We can't destroy this memory, otherwise the uh, device will freeze and the remainder uh, available for use. Um, variables declared inside the function are allocated in the stack. Um, thread stack memory is reclaimed when it terminates. Well, let's move on to the next part. Um, before, uh, before export, we must have a uh, shell code to run on the Windows CE. Um, Windows C implements uh, Win32 compatibility. The core DLL uh, provides the entry points for, uh, for, the, um, for almost uh, all the APIs that implement uh, that in the core DLL. Um, 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 we must uh, search the necessary uh, API addresses um, and then you use these uh, API APIs to implement our shell code. The traditional method to implement the uh, uh, shell code in the win uh, window other Windows system is to uh, locate the kernel 32 or, or NTDL uh, via PB structure and then <coughs> Search, uh, search necessary APIs via uh, P head structure. Well, is, is there any structure like um, PEB under Windows C? The answer is yes. That's the kernel, the uh, K data structure will satisfy us. It's defined in nkarm.h. Uh, K-data structure is a uh, is a very important kernel uh, uh, kernel structure. Can be accessed from user mode by fixed uh, address uh, K uh, user uh, P user K data. Um, the value over uh, the value over P user K data is defined in the uh, K funks. It's in the normal SDK. Um, uh, the value, uh, the P user K data is uh, FFFC800 in ARM processors and uh, 5800 on the uh, other CPUs. Well, let's uh, look at the last member of uh, K data structure. Um, it's offset uh, 300 from the uh, start of K data structure. Um, there is a uh, the uh, the A in four is a D word array, and there is a point to the um, point to the module list in index nine. So 
offset um, three to four from the uh, FFFC eight zero zero is uh, uh, is the point to the module list. Well, let's uh, look at the module structure. It's defined in kernel head file. The, uh, the second member is uh, P mode. It's a point to the next module or, or the module chain. Um, this, uh, uh, the third member is LPSZ mode name. Uh, um, it's a, it's a, it's the module name string. So we can uh, we can locate the core DLL. Um, while comparing the Unicode string of the uh, of its name, well, we also noticed the uh, E32 member. Um, let's look at this file. E32 member is a E32 lit structure. It's defined in uh, uh, PHDR. Well, let's look at look into the E32 latest structure. The E32 V base will tell us the um, uh, the virtual base address of the module, so we can uh, locate the base virtual base address of the core DLL. We also notice the uh, last member is E32 uh, unit. It's an info structure and. Uh, uh, the info structure has two members. The first is the uh, uh, virtual relative address, and the uh, uh, second is the size. And the uh, lit extra is defined in the um, PHDR, the start of PHDR. Six, six members are uh, used by NK, and the first is the export table position. So, from now on, we got the um, <coughs> we got the uh, uh, virtual base address of the core DLL and its uh, uh, export table, the relative address of it, its uh, of the export table position. Um, I I read a small. Uh, I wrote a small program to list uh, to list uh, all the virtual base address of the uh, of all loaded uh, DL files. This is the uh, K data structure and the offset offset uh, three two four is the uh, Mm, is a point to the module uh, module stru structure, and the module structure is the chain structure. Uh, the uh, offset four uh, will point to the next uh, module. Well, uh, the point to the module structure is in the kernel space. So. Um, this program only uh, this program only executes in the kernel mode. The user mode uh, it will fail in the user mode. Uh, well, um, uh, the most of pocket PC ROMs were built built with the full kernel mode option. Uh, that the applications uh, appear all running kernel mode. So, um, uh, so this uh, this small program will execute in uh, the most of the pocket PC. Um, I use the uh, I use this program to call the uh, virtual base address of the core DL is one f six zero 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 zero. But when I uh, use EVC debug to look into 
this address is uh, invalid. The valid data is from 1F61000. Um, I think maybe the window C is just for the purpose to uh, for purpose of save, uh, save memory and the start time, and then didn't load the head head of the uh, DL file. Okay, the uh, Vin e 4 dot dust uses uh, uh, all the nodes to find the uh, API address, uh, but I think uh, use API name to find uh, to find the API address is more uh, reliable for shell code, because the API name won't change even if the uh, 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 the code code file is changed. Oh, well, uh, we can uh, because we have the export table, uh, export table position, and the uh, base address of the core DL. So uh, we can uh, we can use the we can uh, um, compare the uh, Im image export directly to uh, find the. the uh, API address via API name. To save size, we can use the um, hash technology that uh, from the LSD's Win32 assembly, Win32 assembly components. And uh, this is this graph is uh, ripped from LSD's Win32 assembly components to. And it, is, it, it shows the way to locate the um, base address via uh, API name. Mm, well, let's move on to the next part. The, te uh, the test uh, ASM is, uh, is our final shell code. It constructs with uh, three parts. First, uh, it will it will call uh, get export section to get the um, uh, virtual base address of the uh, core DL and its uh, ex relative uh, virtual address over export table position, and then uh, it use find function to um, um, to. To to find the API address via the hash hash value of the API name, and then uh, stores the store the, the find uh, store the API API address to the uh, its own hash value position. The last part is our uh, the uh, implement implementation of our shell code. It will change the uh, register register key of a Bluetooth, and then use a kernel I/O uh, control to soft restart it. This shell code uh, will uh, will open the Bluetooth over some um, IPEX. Um, we, uh, we must notice the um, some uh, some uh, um, uh, assembly uh, LDR pseudo instruction. Look here, why I comment of this instructions. Because um, because this uh, pseudo instruction will be this in the EVC debug, it depends on the uh, pro uh, program, uh, so it won't get the FFF C800 um, in the shell code. So this instruction will make the shell code fail. 
and the next uh, uh, instruction will be this in the EVC debug. It's uh, it's okay. Well, uh, in Windows C, the R, uh, the R three and the R zero and to R three used uh, the first to fourth parameters of the API. Um, if the uh, if the parameter is uh, larger than four, the other uh, the other parameters will stored in the stack. So we must uh, pay attention while writing shell code because the uh, because the shell code um, always in the stack stack memories. Well, EVC debugger uh, has some bugs that make uh, make diff debug difficult. The first, EVC will change the stack contents when the st uh, stack reclaimed in the end of the function. Well, uh, it's uh, it's difficult to uh, debug the path of flow uh, because the show the show code may be changed and. The instruction of the breakpoint uh, may be changed to uh, E600010 in EVC sometimes, and where it's, uh, it's very bothering. And EVC allows the code modify the text uh, segment without error while, uh, while using uh, Break point, or you when you step by step to debug into. Mm, but sometimes it's useful. Well, the the Ada Pro for the ARM debug uh, also have this uh, also have these um, bugs. So I think maybe uh, this is the bug of the uh, debug API of Windows CE. <laughs> Maybe. Well, um, let's move on to the next part. The above show code uh, we talked is uh, complicated and uh, uh, it can't run in user mode. Is there any uh, is there any other um, method to implement show code? Well, let's look at the, uh, an API implemented in the core DLL. Well, let's look at the power of a system. It has no um, parameters. Um, the first, the system will uh, check the check the uh, k-thread info structure, and the k-thread uh, k info is uh, initialized in the uh, MD created thread two in, uh, function in the um, in the MD. In the MD arm dot C, um, uh, if the um, if the application running uh, kernel mode, this value will uh, the uh, this, uh, the K thread info will be set with with one. Otherwise, uh, this value is saved uh, saved zero. So it tests uh, uh, this memory is uh, is one because the um, if this uh, if this uh, if k uh, thread info is one, then the system will use the API uh, API set table to find the, the uh, real uh, real implement implementation in the kernel space. If you uh, if your application is running uh, running kernel mode, and 
this uh, this instruction will execute uh, the R1 is the, uh, is start from the uh, eight uh, blah blah blah. It's in the kernel space. Otherwise, if uh, if the K thread info is zero, uh, is zero, the system will use this. This is uh, um, is the uh, is the system call of Windows C. Um, the system call number is from uh, um, F F zero 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 to uh, F zero zero one zero 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 zero. There is a formula uh, to uh, to determine the. Uh, API um, determine the system call number. It's like this. So um, uh, use this formula, we can uh, calculate the uh, system call number. Well, let's uh, calculate the kernel I/O control. Kernel I/O control is in the Uh, is in, uh, defined in the uh, k uh, kvin 32c and the api set is uh, is zero and the index is uh, 99 so um so uh, we calculated uh, the uh, system call number is uh, like this, uh, F000, FE714. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, uh, the system, system call number is more, stab more stable um, than the uh, uh, API address uh, that implemented in the core DL because, um, because uh, the uh, variable r r uh, compiled run, um, the, the, uh, the uh, API address is a variable. So this uh, this shell code is very simple. Um, uh, uh, it, it only uh, uses the system code to, uh, uh, so, so this this code will uh, can execute in the user mode, uh, but also the kernel mode. So uh, I think this zero code uh, will used in the smartphone. The smartphone, uh, the smartphones are run not built uh, not built with the full kernel mode option, and the Microsoft uh, um, device emulators run uh, has has no th this uh, option too. I tested this uh, uh, this this show code uh, success in the um, Microsoft uh, device emulator and uh, my demonstrated device. Okay, um, let's move on to the next part. Um, The hello CPP is is my is my demonstrate uh, vulnerable program. Um, it uh, it reads the it reads the bin file of the uh, root dire uh, root directory um, by f read and uh, then. Read this. Uh, read the file to the uh, stack stack variable buff, and the uh, the buff is only uh, 512 bytes. So if the bin file is larger than um, 512 bytes, the uh, the program will overflow. And um, the printf and the get chart is just for test. They have no effect uh, without the console DAO 
in Windows directory. The console DL, uh, the console DL uh, can obtain from Windows Mobile um, Developer Power Toy or from the um, Pocket Console. Windows CE uses uh, um, BL to, um, to, to call a function. And in the hello function, this is the first instruction, the store LR to uh, SP. It will uh, store the LR rest to the uh, stack point to the uh, stack to the stack uh, which contains the uh, hello caller's uh, uh, address and and the LDMIR SP to PC is the uh, latest instruction in the hello function. Um, it, uh, this, uh, this instruction will load the, uh, um, uh, load the LR rest that is stored in the stack to the PC rest. And then the program will, fo uh, will flow to the um, refer to the win main function it will then it will return so overflow the lr rest that uh, stored in the stack uh, we will uh, obtain the control while the uh, function returned The variable's memory, uh, the variable's memory address that allocated by the program is corresponding to the loaded slot, both the stack and the heap. Um, the process may be loaded into the different slot uh, each start time. Um, so the base address uh, of the slot always alters. But we know that the slot, slot zero is mapped from the current process slot, so its stack address is uh, stable. Anyway, you can use the um, use an jumper, uh, jumper address, jumper instruction address to uh, let your uh, let the program flow to your shell code. Well, I tried uh, two methods to construct the exploit buff. The first is, is like this. Uh, the, uh, the start is the, pa the pad instructions, and then uh, is the return address that, that we overflow it. And uh, uh, this return address is, our, is pointed to our shell code. Well, um, this this exploit buff is uh, is larger. Mm. The PDA is frozen when uh, when the hello pro hello program is uh, executed. I think um, maybe there are two reasons. The first is that the stack of Windows C is small, and. Uh, um, maybe the buffer flow destroyed the 2KB guard on the uh, top of the stack boundary. So I changed it to uh, another method to construct the exploit buff. Um, it's like this. 
I move the shell code uh, in the uh, start position, and then the last is uh, is the um, is the return address that point to our shell code. Well, um, I use this method uh, success. I demonstrated. Okay. The first, uh, um, the Bluetooth is uh, closed, and I'll I'll execute hello. It will print the um, it will print the um, the the address of the buff and and the size when I um, press any key the, um, the 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 device is restarting well let's it has restarted Well, after, after rest, uh, the, the system restart, the Bluetooth is opened. Well, I'll, I'll close it because it's danger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk something about the decoding shell code. The above shell code uh, we t uh, that we talked is a concept shell code. It contains a lot of zero. Well, um, the other uh, vulnerable programs maybe filter the special characters um, before the stream buffer overflow in some situations. Uh, for example, overflowed by STR copy. Um, Um, uh, it's difficult and inconvenient to write a shell code without special, uh, without special characters, because if you use the R zero, the OP code will contain the um, will contain the uh, zero. So we think about the uh, decoding shell code. Um, the newer ARM processor has a Harvard uh, architecture, um, which, uh, which separates instruction cache and the data cache. Um, um, th this feature will improve the performance of the ARM processor, but the self-modifying code is not easy to implement because it will uh, affect by the uh, ARM Cache architecture and uh, the processes, uh, processors uh, uh, implementation. Oh. Well, let's look at this this shell code. Well, uh, this is the. Uh, 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 decoding shell code uh, for the for the test. The last uh, the last in, uh, four instruction is uh, is uh, move the uh, one to the R R one to R four registers, and uh, the beginning of the first uh, four instructions will modify the uh, last instructions. It will make the value to nine nine, because the R one is a, a nine nine. So, um, the R one uh, and the uh, two R R four registers will uh, will get the nine nine when in in my in my uh, demonstrated device. Well, we uh, 
we can saw the uh, the last uh, four instructions has modified. Uh -oh. um, but uh, but uh, it will uh, need more need more knob instructions between the um, decoding decoded shell code and and the real shell code in the uh, Intel X uh, Intel X scale processors. You can try it. The, maybe uh, only the R1 get the uh, 99. Um, I think maybe the uh, uh, MV, MV file architecture uh, has um, has six pipelines, and uh, and my demonstrate device only has uh, is uh, MV4. It uh, it has a uh, it has a uh, five pipelines. Maybe the pipelines um, uh, modify uh, will uh, affect the the result. Well, um, let's look at another another method. Well. Um, in this method, uh, uh, the last four uh, move instructions were were uh, encoded with the exclusive OR with the eight eight, and the start is uh, is is the is the decode is the decoding shell code. It has a loop to um, is that has to load uh, to load the Encoded the shell code to uh, to load a one byte over encoded shell code, and and then decode it, and then uh, start it to the original position. Well, um, well the. Uh, the R one to R four resistors, resistors won't get the um, the one, even if you uh, add a, a lot of the uh, knob instructions. Well. Well, we saw the uh, last uh, four instructions is uh, uh, is de is decoded, but um, they don't get the one. So, uh, so uh, I think maybe the uh, load instructions will check the um, cache uh, some check uh, some feature over uh, cache architecture. So, we must. Uh, 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 need the need to flush the i cache or d cache um, after after the uh, shell code decode. Well, I think uh, the first I think about the um, system inter uh, interrupt. I I use the uh, system interrupt success in the X Power PC and the Solaris Spark, but. The SWI instructions in the uh, Windows C is just uh, nonsense. Um, oh. the, the, uh, the SWI handle defined in the um, A ARM trap it's, uh, it's just uh, mm, uh, move the AOR rest to the PC, so it's just a knob instruction. Well, uh, I tried. Uh, uh, I have to try another method because the uh, Pocket PC ROMs uh, were built with the full kernel mode um, option. The applications uh, running the kernel mode. So I think about the MCR instructions. Uh, to flush the uh, i cache and the d cache 
the MCR uh, instruction uh, can access the, in the kernel mode only. But, uh, but unfortunately, uh, this, this method all failed. Okay, let's move on to the last part. Um, the codes we talked about are the real life buff overflow example in Windows C. Um, it's simple, but I think um, this technology will be improved in the future. Um, because the uh, instruction catch and the decoding shell code is not good enough. Well, the internet and the handset devices uh, are growing quickly. Um, the threats to PDs and the mobiles uh, becomes more and more serious. Um, the patch over Windows C is more difficult and uh, dangerous because the, um, uh, the entire operating system is, uh, is in the wrong, contained in the wrong. And if you, if you want to um, patch the system flaw completely, you must flush the, uh, the system uh, the system, um, you must flush the system, um, you must flush the, uh, the ROM. And it is, uh, it is danger and uh, incoming, uh, it is danger and uh, difficult for the normal customers. Well, uh, I consulted a lot of paper on the internet. It's all listed here. Um, I'll show my special uh, appreciation to Nasri, who helped, who helped me a lot. Well, that's the end of my presentation. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, sorry my lame English. Thank you.